What's the day? What's the date today? Today is the sixth. Uh, the sixth. <laughs> Seventh. I don't know. It's Saturday. Yeah. That's all I know. I was going all week, so I've lost track of days. But it's going to be potentially a tough morning. Probably a morning or a day. Some people wouldn't come out. We'll see if it's possible to catch fish or not. Tip. 10th, it's the 10th. So the problem is the pressure is 30.5, which a lot of people say 30.3 is a threshold, which above which you can't catch trout. Uh, the pressure is supposed to drop, start dropping around noon, as well as the wind's supposed to be start to drop. Uh, wind's about 17 knots right now. Uh, we got water temperature surface temperature right where we are is 48.5 so another strike against us but um, we're in good company the great thing about fishing in South Louisiana you're never at the launch by yourself there's always some other fool that's as crazy as you ourselves over to the rocks. I'm going to try this section of the rocks. Fishing the wind to our backs. This is 10 foot of water here. Okay, we have moved further south along the rocks. There were too many people anchored. We couldn't drift along. And I'd like to drift and find the schools. It seems to be more efficient on this very long habitat. The bite for most of the fish I caught was very light. I didn't have one fish hammer the bait, though my buddy said he did have a few. Finally, we hit it about a million times. Take that matrix shad up, swallowed it all the way down. Both of us were fishing plastics on the Chalmette rig. We were also both using rattling three quarter ounce sliding sinkers. On a windy day, I like that heavy weight. So we're still on the rocks, haven't really found a concentration. Uh, got on them like we'd like to. So uh, drifting, had some issues with drifting. A lot of snags on the bottom, line in the trolling motor. So it's been a bit of chaos, but the wind is laying down a little more now. And uh, so really hoping for an improvement in, in the fishing. Got the camera back on, but we just pulled in three fish in a row. Looked back at the camera, wasn't running, ran out of power. But uh, David just pulled in a nice 16 plus. All the fish in this section of the rocks, which is away from the wall, have been a little bit bigger than up by the wall. So, also the wind has calmed down. So we're expecting to see great things now. I was really expecting when the wind dropped some that the fish bite would pick up because it had been slow but it didn't actually happen that way. When the wind died the bite died with it and we continue to catch a few but it was definitely slower and uh, I'm wondering if the bait was getting pushed up against the rocks by the wind and when the wind died that bait disappeared. Yeah, and it's not, that it's not summertime because you know in the summer they hit it you miss it they'll hit it again they'll come back yeah. two or three times here. Well we that but that, that this one was kind of doing that too I've had a couple really? that have done that yeah. I didn't think they'd have enough energy. Of course it's there. Look at that. Good job. Oh it's got some. Yeah. 
you got the shoulder on the point. Like they run up. Yeah, I did not feel the take on that one. happy about the size of the fish. We didn't catch a single throwback during this entire first part of the day. So we were trying to figure out what depth we we're catching these in. Looks like anywhere from maybe 14 to 7. So as I said, the bite along that southern part of the rocks where we were fishing was kind of died out. We were getting a few, but it was slow. We went into the marsh, tried some spots that had been good the last couple years, but it was just dead. There was nothing in there. So we picked up and we moved down to the rocks that are near the wall and uh, we got onto a bite there about right away. Again, just drifting along the rocks. Oh, right in your spot. Wow, nice trout, nice trout, nice trout. Nice trout. So we moved to that northern part up by the wall about 2, 2.30, and the wind had calmed down significantly by then. It was nice fishing. There you go. Boy, he's like he was following you. No. Not a nice one. Well, no one I didn't catch one. We did run into a few throwback trout, but maybe two, and actually I caught two white trout. But there was definitely some nice fish here at this spot as well. I think that on that trailer with the ultraviolet again. This is almost like those old days here in Chalmette yeah. two, three years ago, afternoon on the late fall, winter day, and they would just turn on. Easily just limit out here along the rocks from two o'clock on. There's another fish. Gosh. This is like the old days. Another beautiful fish. There's another fish. Holy cow. <laughs> you having fun? Oh my goodness. Every cast now. That's sweet. Every cast and nice fish. Good. Oh man, that's a that's easy at 15. That beautiful fish. This is our box of fish. Probably about 25, 30 of them in there. Some nice 15, 16 inches. So it's a good day at the end. Caught them all in Matrix Shad or Mirror Lure. All like a chartreuse color or a kind of ultraviolet or the Mirror Lure equivalent of that. Good day. So today proved that you can catch fish when the pressure is above 30.3. In fact, 30.5 is some of the highest pressure that we see down here. At the end of the day or at 4 o'clock when we left, the pressure was still above 30.4. Now I don't doubt that pressure has an effect, but by itself, it doesn't cut off the bite. I'm sure there are other factors when present will result in a bite that uh, just doesn't happen. And you know what those days are like. It doesn't matter what you do. It's like the fish are, don't even exist and you beat the water, beat the water, and nothing happens. So uh, I, I learned today that I'm not afraid to go out and fish when the pressure is high, if I think that uh, the fish are there or the fish should be feeding. And as many of our esteemed colleagues say, you gotta go to know.